Hello, how are we doing? Um, total chill day, right? Like, I don't know. I'm not feeling as perky as other days, but um, today we're here to talk about masks um, as we talked about yesterday. Um, so this will be the last one in this series, this product line, Renee Furter. Um, and then I am actually gonna take a few days off <clears throat> um, over the weekend and then we'll come back on Monday and do a new product line and a product that I'm like really, really excited about. It's super fun and I don't even know if a lot of people know it exists, but at a time when you can't go to the hair salon, um, it, it's a really cool product to have at home. So we're gonna talk about that on Monday, but today we're gonna wrap up the Renee um, portion with the mask. So I think most people are familiar with masks, so we're gonna keep this pretty brief and quick. Um, I'm definitely gonna put it on and I'm gonna probably leave it on till the next time I shower. Um, I'm actually loving this. My hair is getting softer and softer and I'll probably blow it out at some point this weekend um, and take a pic just to show you guys because um, it's like feeling really, really good. Um, and I'm excited to style it. I haven't styled my hair in a long time. It's been a lot like this, like I'm sure um, a lot of you have as well. So hair masks are, um, you know, the kind of uniform treatment. Like it's what most people use as a hair treatment. Um, you know, this one happens to be really thick. Um, it's very hydrating. This is the Karate Nutri. The other one I'm gonna talk about is the Karate Hydra. Um, the ingredient in both of these is shea, again, kind of like the Karate oil. Um, the difference is the Karate Nutri is for someone with like thicker, coarser, or like my hair more processed. Um, it has shea butter and it also has the shea oil, which is a lighter weight. Um, and then the Karate Hydra, the mask has just the shea oil. Um, so it's a little bit lighter. It won't weigh your hair down. So if you're a finer haired uh, person or a person who has, you know, very, you know, somewhat healthy hair, but you're just looking for a little bit of moisture um, and you don't need that extra boost of moisture, then you can use the Karate Hydra. If you have really thick or coarse hair or, um, you know, processed hair, um, unruly, frizzy hair, and you need that extra um, oomph, you can use the Karate Nutri and that has the shea butter in it. Um, it's, you know, like all the other products, the scents are really pretty. They're really nice. Um, they're, you know, it's very thick. It's, it's almost like, this one's more like a body cream. And that's a, when I describe the differences between uh, strengths of masks, because a lot of times in any product line, um, they're gonna have a, a, you know, a heavier mask and a lighter mask. And when people ask what the difference be between or what they need, it, I always think, um, you know, people with a, with a finer textured hair or, uh, the, you know, someone that doesn't need the weight or the heaviness, you want a product or a mask that's more like a lotion. So a little more sheer, um, think pantyhose, um, lighter, a little li more liquidy. Um, yeah. And then, you know, someone with thicker, coarser hair, you want something thicker, more like a body cream, uh, like an opaque uh, pantyhose, that kind of thing. So um, we're gonna go ahead and apply this now. Uh, so when I typically use a mask, um, I would do it in the shower. And I generally use a mask as my conditioner because I only wash my hair once or twice a week, um, usually twice, maybe I'd say two to three times actually to be real stiff. But, um, you know, you can use the mask one to two times a week is what they recommend. Um, I use my mask as my conditioner always. So I shampoo um, and then I apply my mask and then I kind of do all my other shower things so I can let it sit for at least, you know, five to 10 minutes. But masks are great as long as it's not protonizing. So that's a, you know, more of a hair strengthener, not a hair hydrator. Um, if it's, if it's a hydration moisture thing, you can leave it on as long as you want. Um, you can sleep in it. You can, you know, put it on and clean the whole house and then wash it off. Um, you could put it on, you know, recommended is on towel dry, damp hair but you can put it on your hair in any which way or form. And then, you know, if you leave it for a long period of time, you shampoo it out. You're not shampooing out the benefits of it. Your hair has absorbed it. It's absorbed the ingredients inside of the product, especially with Brene, where it has natural um, ingredients. You've gotten the benefits from the mask, even if you shampoo it out and then use like a lightweight conditioner afterwards. Um, but you're also gonna get the same benefits if you shower 
and shampoo and then put it in the shower. Um, so we're gonna put it on, you know, and I, even in the shower, I think it's great to have a comb around. I think the key to applying a mask is just to make sure it's really well um, distributed. So what I'm gonna actually do is um, section out my hair. And I'm gonna grab a little clippy over here. And I'm actually gonna clip up my hair. So if I was doing this in the shower, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use the clip, to be honest. I would just put it on light conditioner, make sure it's everywhere, and then leave it on while I'm doing my other stuff and then rinse it out. But since we're taking the time and treating ourselves, oh yeah, and it's like self-care, treat yourself, all that jazz. Um, yes, we have the time, right? All right, so I'm gonna apply it to my hands. Like a little goes a long way, but you know, you can see my hands are covered with the product. And I'm gonna distribute it through my hair. And then I'm gonna comb it to make sure it gets everywhere. And add a little extra onto the ends where it's dry. Yeah, that's nice. I went to the grocery store today. Does that make everyone, anyone else feel kind of like meh? I used to love it, it was like my favorite thing. I used to like to go to the grocery store like on every day off I had just to get like a few things, especially Whole Foods, like poke around. Not anymore, not the same. Um, it's actually kind of exhausting. I feel like it takes a lot out of me. But this mask is making me feel alive. And I'm a candle and it was like, mm, like, am I in the mood for this today? And then, you know, it's like one of those things like with anything like health, and wellness and things that make you feel good sometimes you don't feel like doing it but then once you get going you're like oh this is so nice this is just what I needed I'm like feeling a little more perky I can smell the smells everything smells so pretty that's why it's so important to find a little time in the chaos for yourself even if it's just like this is going to take me if I wasn't talking I mean it would take like just two minutes to put on I'm gonna throw my hair in a tight bun. I'm gonna clean my whole house. And when I get to it, I'm gonna shampoo and condition. My hair is gonna be so soft and beautiful from all the things that we've been doing. And I honestly, like I said, kind of feel really a lot better after I do these because it's just the ritual, oh, we're done with that, of doing it. I, it feels good. It feels good to, to get the candle going. It feels good to smell the smells and put on the product and know I'm doing something nice for myself. Um, so, you know, the nice thing about this product in particular is it's just a mask and I know all of you, I mean, maybe not all of you, but I know a lot of us have them laying around our house. You know, that time you went to the salon and you wanted to buy that fancy thing or the whatever, the store, and then you kind of just, just sits under the, the sink or whatever. It's time to get those products out. I'm sure everyone has something laying around that they can pull out and kind of treat themselves with. And if anyone has any questions about anything they have laying around the house that they want to try out, you can DM me. I'll answer. I've definitely gotten some, some questions over this time and I like, I love it. Um, actually one of the things I was thinking about doing is purple shampoo. Got questions about that. Um, and I think it, I have some really fun things I can share about it and how to use it. Um, you know, in different ways to, to increase the intensity of it. And I think that would be fun. All right, so now that we have our mask all applied, that's really all it is. This is, again, a real simple one. Um, we're gonna comb all that through. We're gonna let this sit. I'm gonna leave mine in to really hydrate. Plus it smells good and I'm not going anywhere else today. That's the other thing, I feel like every time I go out, like once I'm home, I'm like, okay, I'm good for today. I'm all set. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Um, I hope you have found ways to 
you know, take some time to treat yourselves and take care of yourselves. Um, you know, especially my essential worker peoples and ugh, people who work in the hospitals can't even imagine, but it's still important, you know, even I know there's not as much free time, but to find time even more so to take good care of yourselves, to do something that will relax you at the end of, you know, your shift or your work. Um, I know that doing this all week has really helped me. Um, I, I, even though I'm telling you guys about these things and, and showing you how to use them. I'm not going to lie. Like I don't do this enough. And I'm, I'm really excited that I spent the past, you know, four days doing this to myself. Um, and I'm really excited to, to blow out my hair and show you guys how pretty it looks after a week of doing this. And I'm super excited for next week, Monday to share my really fun product. Um, that I think it's gonna be surprising for everyone and everyone's gonna want it, it's really great. Um, but anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.